All right, welcome back. You're across the street. Look at that. Safely, hand 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 lovely hand young couple. Up. Not oh, anymore. Oh, 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 oh. hey, we got to pick the direction, people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a typical relationship. Oh, yeah. You know anyway, um, he's best remembered for telling investors uh, to avoid stocks before the 87 crash. Uh, he has earned the nickname Dr. Doom, um, but he also can speak to booms and other such things that rhyme with room. Uh, Mark Faber joins us right now from Toronto, publisher of the Gloom, Boom, and Doom Report. Um, Thank you. Welcome, is good. <laughs> welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> business is fantastic. Off the Ooh. charts, I'm sure. Uh, you actually think we're setting up for, for a, I don't know if we'll call it a boom, but a boom lit uh, of some kind. What's, what is, what's your line of thinking right now, Mark? Well, I think if I look at the various asset classes, obviously we had the boom 2002 to 2007 and commodities uh, kept on rising until July 2008 and then everything totally collapsed. And the question is, when will the money printing by the various central banks around the world lead to asset market recoveries and which asset markets will go up the most? I think if I look at uh, equities in Asia, in the U.S. and commodities, commodities are very cheap in real terms. The CRB index uh, went down to 200 the other day, now is around 210. And uh, the low in 99, after a 20 years bear market, was 182. So we're up 10% from the lows. But in real terms, we're at new lows. And compared to equities, I would say that some resource-related uh, equities are very cheap. And the resources in general, the industrial commodities. Narrow that down for us. In other words, would you pick a type of industrial commodity or a company? Would you differentiate between the commodity and the companies, or for that matter, the geographies? Uh, well, or for that I matter, think the currencies? I'd say oil servicing companies. Uh, and just now, somebody mentioned fluor. I would like to add uh, other oil servicing companies as well. I think they should do okay. Why? Well, I think that the oil exploration will slow down because of low prices, and eventually the low prices as exploration slows down will lead to higher prices and again more exploration. And I think we shouldn't forget that the oil has a huge kind of geopolitical uh, aftertone in the sense that a country like China and the U.S., they need oil and they need to become less dependent from the Middle East. And so that should continue yeah. uh, to stimulate exploration. What about uh, those that would argue that uh, America, as a as a uh, industrial complex, as a as a group of uh, creative and, in, in, and intellectual uh, projects, <laughs> is, is for sale cheap right now? The Dennis Gartman argument that you can get, I'll get, I'll sell you some America on the cheap. <laughs> well. America, if it was cheap, then the stock market would be at the level of 1990. The S&P would be at 300. In Japan, we're at the level of 1981. In Taiwan and Korea, that I assure you has as much intellect as the U.S. on a per capita basis, we're at the level of 1987. So these markets, if I compare them to the U.S., are very inexpensive. And by the way, this year, Korea, Taiwan, and also Thailand haven't really gone down. In some cases, they actually rallied a bit by 1% or 2%. So I think that these markets would be relatively attractive. Mark, thank you. He's, he, you're relatively attractive yourself, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it can be applied in many contexts. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, Mark Faber with us from Toronto. <laughs> I like the accent. He sounds very authoritative. You know what I'm saying? That should be in a case. Bond movie. The whole he's, he's a, a bad guy, guy in a Bond movie. Bad guy in a Bond movie, or a he's good a guy cat. on Fast Money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If he had a white cat, a nice white cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right.